Capuchins are really feisty animals. They fight a lot and they fight collaboratively, just like humans do. Kind of like tribal warfare. It's pretty disturbing to see these interactions because often one favorite monkey is killing another monkey you are awfully fond of. Well, he was further away. He was just twittering like crazy and cooing and everybody was getting annoyed with him. And we've seen infants getting too close to the enemies. And we've been really frightened that something like that would happen again. So the other day we were worried when we saw that Winslow Homer, the 14-month infant, he got trapped when the conflict happened and his group fled and he just couldn't find them. We were so nervous, but he didn't seem nervous at all. He approached females, he played with the infants, and he was seamlessly integrated into the group. He made friends right away, and uh, we, were, we were very proud of him, of course. He's always been a favorite of ours. They are so much like human beings, and so scientists want to have models for testing ideas about how we evolved to be the way we are. And capuchins are perfect for that because they independently evolved a lot of the characteristics that humans have, which we think are really interesting. So things you can't really study in humans, sex, political intrigue, and so forth, they'll do right in front of me. Okay, here come the pulling nails to, to chase Sopata again, and he just fled. Every single day, I have seen something new. These monkeys have so much personality. It's, it's like a soap opera. <laughs> 